Hey everyone, it's uh, MJ the Student Actuary and tonight we're going to be talking about how to start studying uh, for the actual exams. Um, because yeah, starting is actually quite hard. So this video is just going to show you how to begin and how to have a little bit of a game plan um, for these exams. So the first thing you want to do is find out when are you actually writing these exams. So for myself, I'm going to go to the Actuarial Society of South Africa, um, click on exam dates and venues, and the exam I'm going to be writing is CT5. So we now look for CT5. And we see that it is on Monday, the 27th of April. I actually like that date. Um, got the whole weekend to study. So that is actually, that's actually, yeah, it's a very nice. Um, you can check out your little venue. I'll be writing at Sunday. Okay, so step one, we are writing on the 27th of April. Now we need to buy our books. So, I go to this website called Acted. Um, it's the actual education company um, website. Very useful um, if you're studying by yourself or even if you're studying at varsity. Um, it is quite confusing how to use this website because you come to products and you like start buying your products and you realize no, you actually can't buy it there. Um, to buy products, oh, oh wait, how do you, you buy, you buy the products somewhere on this website, I think is it, is it somewhere, uh, well what you want to do is get this combined materials pack, um, this thing here, you want to definitely get that um, for your studies, then um, where do you go? Do we click here to? Oh no, we click here online store. So, like you can see, it's quite a quite a confusing website. This one. Um, okay, yes, here we go. You go distance learning. You go to your CT. Um, for me, it's CT five, and this is going to show you all the list of things that you can buy for um, studying. So definitely want to get the combined materials back. What I also got is um, the flashcards. Um, that's actually all I have got for, for this exam. You could get asset. Um, that's a must if you're doing CA1. But for CT5, it's a little bit easier, so you don't have to get that. Um, course notes, core readings and Q&A bank all come up in the combined material pack, so don't worry about that. I've never got a mock exam before. I did buy revision notes. Um, ah, they're not that helpful. The main one is flashcards as the additional, but essentially you want to get that one there. Okay, so now that we've got all of our stuff, um, I buy the electronic versions. And um, I use, I'll show you the little device I use. Um, I use the Samsung Note, the 12 inch. Um, beautiful device. And what it does is it just lets me have a pen feature. I can open up my electronic textbook on the one side and I can make um, notes on the other side. And that way I'm not moving between book and paper. Um, zoned in and I'm focused. Um, an iPad is better for reading, like better for reading on, but nothing can compete with the Samsung um, when you got the, when you're writing and you're making your notes. Okay, so now that we've got our technology, we know when we're writing, um, what you want to do is make a study plan. And I think to make a study plan, you just want to pull up um, yeah, just pull up an Excel, um, just go chapter one, I think I can just drag this down to however many chapters there are going to be, and then what I do is I make like a, like a grid, 
So the first thing I do is I do a quick read um, of the summaries. So each chapter is going to have a summary. I just quickly read through that. Um, I just sometimes it's like, but really quick, like it takes me not even an hour to go through all of them. Uh, just want to, I just want to have a feel for for the information that I'm going to be learning. Um, then I I read like a novel. So what this means is you're going to read each word. You're not going to skip like you did with the quick read of the summary. Uh, but if something's difficult or if there's a really hard formula, you want to try to work it out. You want to try to get your head around it. But if you're really battling, um, don't get bogged down at this stage. Just go past it. Maybe make a note for yourself. Um, and yeah, but concentrate while you read. Don't, you know, like you're reading a novel, you know, you're focusing on the story. Um, then what you want to do is pull out your flashcards. Or how I do it is, yeah, I bring the flashcards and I do my semantic studying. Um, so the flashcards highlight what the main ideas are. And then what I like to do as a bit of an active study is I try to link up the ideas. Um, you remember I made this little, this little video the other day, uh, semantic studying, there it is. Go check it out um, if you want to know more about what I mean by semantic studying. Um, then what I do is I do the questions um, in the core reading. Um, once I've done that, I then do the the questions at the end. At the end, um, they're a little bit harder. They're a little bit more like the exam questions. Um, so yeah, you want to do, do those. Um, I then read the read everything again, but this time I'm reading it more philosophically. Um, and what I mean by that is now when I read, I'm going to ask questions like. Why is the formula like this? Why is that link like that? Um, when in history did they discover this uh, method? And I'm going to, you know, just poke the information, ask questions, draw it out. Um, this, I'm going to not really be making notes or reading or anything. I'm going to be sitting down with a cup of coffee, um, staring at the wall, thinking about these various ideas. Okay. Uh, budget to have a lot of time for this. It is fun um, and yeah, it will benefit you. Then what I do is I finalize my notes. Um, I might even come take them from my Samsung and send them to my phone. So I've got my notes on my phone so I can revise whenever. Um, then what I do is I download all the past exam papers. And I mean, you can get that from... Um, the website, oh, how far back do I have to go? Yeah, you can get past exam papers here. Uh, I just download as many as I can. Um, I dice up the exam questions. I'm just going to call dice up the exam questions um, into like so. I take, I find that chapter, well, question two in 2012 was on chapter one, and I get all the chapter one questions together. Get all the chapter two questions together from the various papers, and um, so yeah. So then I sort out the questions, sort out the questions. Um, I then do the questions. Well, that's that's a very important. You don't want to skip that step. Doing the questions. Then um, something I learned at school uh, was a teacher gave me some advice, which I've worked out pretty well, is to make notes. On my mistakes in the questions so make notes on your mistakes that you make in these questions and um, yeah then what you want to do is just revise say say a quick little prayer and definitely have a good night rest before the exam nothing worse than trying to write an exam you've been studying all night and you're tired um, for the exam. That's that's just silly. Don't do that. Um, so yeah, now today's date is, what is today? Today is the 18th of January and our exam is on the 
27th of April. So I initially wanted to start at the beginning of this year, but you can see stuff got in the way. Um, so I'm going to be starting now. And just the days between that, I'm going to build up this study plan. Um, I'm going to build in, make it quite generous with my time. I'm starting quite early. I don't want to get stressed out um, for the end of the exam. I want to have enough time to revise. I want to have enough time to read philosophically. But this is something that must be done before I write the exam. Otherwise, my chances of passing it are going to be quite slim. But yeah, that is um, that's your game plan. Uh, let me get that little turtle thing back up here. So yeah, that's your that's your game plan. Um, yeah, cut back on your social life and study like a rock star. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and best of luck for the exams.